Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 251 of our grave tour of the famous series. In this episode, we visited Libingan ng mga bayani in Taguig and Santuario de San Antonio in Makati in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen, and businessmen in third in this part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a lawyer and politician and best remembered having served as vice president during Cory Aquino administration and his wife, a painter, an actress in theater and films. Located at Libingan ng mga Bayani, at the southern side of the tomb of unknown soldiers, we found the final resting place of vice president Doy Laurel. Doy Laurel was born Salvador Roman Hidalgo Laurel on the 18th November 1928 in Paco, Manila. He was a lawyer and politician and best remembered being served as vice president during Cory Aquino administration. Doy was the fifth of the eight children of former president Jose Pasiano Laurel and Pasencia Hidalgo of Tanawan, Batangas. His other siblings include former congressman and ninth house speaker jose bayani laurel jr former ambassador to japan jose sotero laurel iii former senator sotero cosme teroy laurel and champion race car grand prix driver arsenio doji laurel at the end of second world war the laurel family went on exile to japan including 17 year old doi in September 1945, President Laurel was arrested by American forces and the family was flown back to Manila in November of 1945. Doi married film and theater actress Celia Diaz in 1950 and the couple had eight children including former actor Cocoy Laurel. He was the grandfather of actress Denise Laurel and singer-songwriter Nicole Laurel Asensio. Doy was the biological father of actress Pia Pilapil with actress Pilar Pilapil. Doy studied law at UP and graduated in 1952. He earned his Master's of Law at Yale University in 1953 and Doctor of Juridical Science at the same institution in 1960. Doy ran for senator under Nationalist Party in 1967. His Senate term was cut short when the Congress was abolished due to proclamation of martial law in 1972. Doi was a member of Interim Batasang Pambansa representing Region 4A and served from June 1978 to September of 1983. In 1986 snap election, Doi agreed to run for vice president with Cory Aquino as presidential candidate for the opposition. The other day, Mrs. Cory Aquino told me that she has reconsidered her decision and is now willing to run under the banner of the UNIDO. In the interest of unity, which is the key to victory, victory which will dismantle the dictatorship and bring about the establishment of a truly just and democratic order, I wish to announce that late last night I withdrew my certificate of candidacy for the presidency and that together with Corey here, we filed also last night 
our certificates of candidacy, both under the banner of UNIDO, she for the presidency of the Republic, and I for the vice presidency of the Republic. But these are the last days of the Marcos dictatorship. The people have a right to change the government when the government betrays the people. A government that denies justice to the people is committing the greatest crime against the people. Sana'y magkaisa tayong lahat sa laban ng ito. Kung maaari, iwasan natin ang himagsikan. Kung maaari, iwasan natin ang paggamit ng dahas upang mabawi ang ating mga karapatan at kalayaan at upang may bayon ang ating puri bilang isang lahi. Kung hindi tayo kikilos, sinong kikilos? Kung hindi tayo sisigaw, sinong sisigaw? Kung hindi tayo lalaban, sinong lalaban? At kung hindi ngayon, kailan pa? Corin Doy sworn in as President and Vice President on the 25th February 1986 at the height of EDSA People's Power Revolution. Doy served as Vice President for six years until June 1992. In 1992 presidential election, Doy ran under Nationalist Party but landed last of all seven candidates with only 3.4% of the vote with Fidel Ramos won the election with 23.6% of the total votes. In 1993, Doi was appointed by President Fidel Ramos as head of National Centennial Commission, which he served until his retirement in public service in 1999. In June 2003, Doi was diagnosed with cancer and flew to United States for medical intervention. He died about seven months later on the 27th January 2004 because of lymphoma. He was 75. Located about 7 kilometers west of Libinga na mga Bayani is the Santuario de San Antonio Columbari, which is the final resting place of theater and film actress Celia Diaz Laurel. Celia Diaz was born on the 29th May 1928 in Talisay Town in Negros Occidental. She was a painter and actress in film and theater and best remembered as the wife of Vice President Doy Laurel during Cory Aquino administration. Diaz studied fine arts at UP and Yale University and in 1968, Diaz joined Repertory Philippines where she appeared in various plays including The Sound of Music, My Fair Lady, and The King and I. Diaz had seven film appearances as actress and one as director from 1971 to 1975. These were 1973 Love Song starring Coco Laurel and Marian de la Riva, 1973 Ophelia at Paris starring Vilma Santos with Coco Laurel, 1974 Oh Margie O oh, starring Margie Moran with Coco Laurel. And in 1975 movie, Lollipops and Roses at Burong Talangkai starring Nora Honor and Coco Laurel. As author, Diaz wrote many books including her last coffee table book titled My Lives Behind the Prosenium which was launched on her 93rd birthday on the 29th May 2021. Kahapon ipinagdiwang ng Pamilya Laurel ang ikawalong-putwalong taong kaarawan ng yumaong si dating Vice President Salvador Doy Laurel. Si Laurel ang tatang usana na pangulo sa special elections noong February 1986 sa ilalim ng Nitron o Unido. Pero nagbigay daan siya sa kandidatura ni dating Pangulong Cory Aquino.
Aquinot sa gitna ng kanilang panunungkulan. Nagkaroon ng hidwaan sa pagitan ni Aquino at Laurel. He gave way to Corey so that the country would be united. But I think he was misjudged. The Aquino government, I can, I can say that with, my, with all truth, they, they, they made him look bad, you know. When he all he wanted was to serve the country. Sa kabilang yuda ng dating vice president na si Celia Diaz Laurel, na walas ang kini kim kim na galit sa pamilya Aquino. So you are in favor, man, of him being buried in the living? Yes, he was president. He was, he was what was occupied all. He had served the country. It is time that we recognize him for what good he has done in life. We must not dwell. On what wrong a person has done. She died more than a month later, on the 12th of July, 2021. She was 93. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in the bayani in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more great two videos, including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next great tour of the famous episodes.